Okay, hello and welcome to data meeting number five. Um, for this assignment, I was paired with Will. Uh, Will has been working with Cynthia. Um, they've been working as a pair. Cynthia is an art teacher and Will is a history teacher. Um, so Will was my partner for data meeting number five. We met uh, via Google Meet on Monday, July 30th from noon till about 1230. Um, and so that was my first takeaway was Google Meet. That was a new uh, online tool for me. My group has been using Google Hangout. Um, so my first question was, well, how does Google Meet different from Google Hangout? Uh, so first of all, I noticed that I could only start new meetings through my Prince George's County Public Schools email address. So here you see my personal um, email, and it says your account only lets you join meetings. So I thought that was interesting, but if I go to switch account and go to my uh, school email here, then I am able to start a new meeting. So we used Google Meet. Um, I was pretty impressed with, with it, actually. Um, the present now function, so here you see I just turned it on. Hello there. Um, the present now function um, is actually pretty cool because you can um, you can share either uh, your entire screen or you can um, share a new window um, with those in the video conference. Um, and I think this will be helpful uh, maybe for distance parent teacher conferences, things like that. So I'm excited about using Google Meet in the future. All right, so let me turn this off. Um, so, step one, so we decided which SMART goals would be best um, to discuss and review. Now, Will and Cynthia settled on one SMART goal, um, so step one was actually pretty easy. So that SMART goal says that students will show evidence of visual analysis improvements through the use of online tools and discussion strategies with at least 80% proficiency. So in reviewing this SMART goal, it is specific, measurable, achievable, and realistic. But as far as being time-based, it is unclear from the verbiage of the SMART goal exactly when the completion of this goal is expected. So a simple amendment to this SMART goal would state that it would be completed, say, by the end of module or semester one. So that was one um, uh, suggestion that I made to Will. Um, so in looking at his data, um, well, in their data meeting number three presentation, Cynthia and Will mentioned that many of their IEP students are English language learners as well. And so I was wondering, uh, referring to their SMART goal, how the analysis of visual artifacts would improve the writing and English learning gaps with these students. Um, and in discussing with Will, he said that the goal would be to partner these students with another student that does not have these IEP and ELL barriers. Um, and so by adding this visual analysis, visual analysis, it would compensate for um, some of the, I want to say shortcomings or, you know, some of the difficulty that some of these students have with the, the reading portion of these assignments. Uh, whatever the hope would be that what is lost in the reading, hopefully they make some of that up with the visual analysis. Um, so in their data meeting, they introduced me to the acronym of TACOS. So in doing my own research, I found that it can stand for time, action, caption, objects, and summary. Um, but Will and Cynthia used a modified version of that acronym, which is title, action, caption, observation, and summary. Um, there their, uh, their data meeting also said that they were going to go with a project-based project assessment 
Um, and I liked that idea, and I also liked the fact that they allowed for student choice between S'more, VoiceThread, or Prezi. Um, so I asked Will how they decided on those three, and they said that those were just platforms that they were familiar with, and they were, um, you know, happy with the capabilities of those web tools. Um, as far as feedback that I received from Will um, in reference to my team's work, um, he said that we should make our SMART goals more specific. Um, and I see where he's coming from. We, in our discussion, we both kind of agreed that we should take an approach that someone from the outside looking in knows little to nothing about what we were talking about. So we should really be as specific as possible so that, say, if a substitute teacher were to come in and take over this lesson, that they could pick it up without missing a beat. Um, so looking for more specificity, um, and also in terms of the artifacts, we're looking for not only artifacts that will demonstrate what the students will provide for the teacher, but also what is the teacher going to be providing for the students. Um, so the students are going to give us data in terms of, you know, their writing assignments, their, uh, their performance on state, you know, uh, standard assessments. But what are we going to be doing and implementing that will serve the students and help them um, overcome these learning gaps? Um, so that was our meeting for data meeting number five. Thank you.